Hey y'all, what up? It's your girl Cindy, aka In This Is In This Because 29 on Mike, bringing you motivational, inspirational, and encouraging videos the 29th of every month for the next six months till July 2015. So today I actually wanted to speak on um, the topic of confidence building. But in the wake of all that's happened in Baltimore, I felt that it was necessary to speak on the riots and uh, the passing of Freddie Gray. And just to summarize what's happened, earlier this month, a 25-year-old black male by the name of Freddie Gray, 25 years old, were um, was arrested by a couple of white cops. We have no reason as to why he was arrested. There is no evidence um, as to why he was arrested. He was arrested unjustly. And while in their custody, he was severely injured. He broke his neck, his spine was severed, and along that process, because of his injuries, um, as a result of his injuries, he passed away. Since then, there have been a number of riots um, happening in Baltimore City, and um, the irony of it all is that people seem to be more concerned about damaged property than they are about a life that was lost. Um, this video is just to remind you um, to be very critical of what the media puts forth, um, especially the mainstream media on television, um, the news networks, what they're streaming online. Um, some of the information that's coming out is very questionable, and the narrative that is being told um, is truly framing the rioters truly framing blacks and people of color as the wrongdoers, as the uh, the looters, the uncivilized, the the savage, as you may call it. And um, again, the irony of this is that uh, the oppressor, the oppressor, seems to care less about um, a black life that was lost. Instead. Um, the media is really focusing on uh, the damage that's being done to the property, um, some, of the, some of the things that are being lit on fire. And um, I actually have a, an article that I just read on Huffington Post Politics um, actually discusses the number of riots that um, involved mass populations of white people but were not highlighted by the media earlier this year. Um, earlier last year and in, in, in the past few years actually um, the, vi the the link to the article is right below um, below this video and it actually discussed some of um, the riots that occurred and the I <laughs> the funny thing it's, it's actually not funny at all but many of the many of the riots that the the article was discussing involved rioting after sports events, um, and to see to see that um, to see the reason for those riots versus the riots in Baltimore, which was uh, a riot for justice, um, a riot uh, to speak out against the injustice of Freddie Gray. It's really um, it's really just mind boggling, boggling to. To see that and witness that, so some of the, some of the riots that the the article noted were um, in Kentucky. Kentucky fans rioted after winning the Final Four in 2014. Again, these were mass populations of white people. Um, after San Francisco Giants won last year, fans rioted in the city, damaging property again. Um, students riot after Penn State fired football coach Joe Paterno in 2011. Again, things were, um, there was massive property damage, there were things lit on fire, and yet, during these instances, because they were white populations, the media did not frame them as wrongdoers or um, uncivilized for um, committing these acts, whereas people of color, of course, since we're riding for something that is actually worthy of a cause because of an innocent life that has been lost, um, we're being framed as um, uncivilized, as wrongdoers, as savage. Um, and 
it's it's really um, it's really not a new narrative. It's um, it's again been happening for centuries. Um, but this video is just to remind you all to be very critical of what the media is putting forth and what you're internalizing while watching the news on television, while watching what's being streamed online. Um, we are living in an age where, uh, we are living in an internet age where we have access to information we weren't privy to before uh, the technological revolution. So we have the opportunity to find the truth. We have the opportunity to, to pick out um, and investigate some of the facts that we are not being given by the mainstream media. The media has truly a, a great, a great amount of power in how they shape the consciousness of a society and something that has been circulating around um, social media that I've seen is this quote by Malcolm X, which I think is really relevant. So I'm going to read it right now. Um, he stated, the media is the most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty innocent. And that's power because they control the minds of the masses. Malcolm X. So Malcolm X, as many of you know, civil rights leader, he's often juxtaposed um, to MLK. Um, MLK is seen as the more um, amiable, more respectable or righteous uh, civil rights leader because of his use of civil disobedience to further civil rights for people of color. Um, Malcolm X, on the other hand, is seen as the more violent civil rights leader. The irony of it all is that Malcolm X was not violent. He just promoted self-defense. Self-defense and violence are very two different things. And um, I think Malcolm X had a great point. Um, he has an excellent point in, in noting that the media has um, a great power in shaping our thinking about what we think about ourselves, about what we think about society, about what we think about others that um, in circles that we don't associate with. Um, the media is shaping all those, those opinions, those, those mindsets. And for centuries this has been happening and that's why we continue to live in a very institutionalized, oppressive system. Um, and that is why race in this country is very continues to be a problem, continues to be a problem. Um, this video is just to remind you guys, in no way, in no way do I support violent protest. I do not think violence is the answer to anything. But I do understand the emotion, the fear, the anger that we feel because of all the innocent lives that have been taken by the hands of police brutality, by the hands of racism that is still affecting our nation. Um, Violence is not justified, but it is very understandable. Um, I just want to encourage you all to continue protesting, but peacefully, um, to continue speaking out, having discourse, having a dialogue with your peers, within your family, within the people that surround you who do not really understand what is going on, who, who are not um, criti critically watching um, what the media is giving us, who are internalizing some of these very wrong perspectives, that they're not full perspectives, and we really have to make sure that we do the best we can. Because I always think about our ancestors who came before us and all the work that they did, and they passed on that baton to us, and we have to carry it through. And if we don't, again, if we don't speak up for ourselves, no one else will. So this video is just to encourage you guys to continue protesting, but please do so peacefully. Um, continue speaking out and um, yeah, that's speak up and speak out and um, be aware of what you, wa what you watch, what you're internalizing and be careful and also find out that information for yourself, do your research and um, continue educating others along the process because that is very important. Um, that is my Speaker 29 series for today. I just, again, encourage you all to speak up and speak out. Um, do so peacefully and stay safe out there. Love you all.